Hey friends, it's Brittany. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another part of the Sims 4 Zombie Apocalypse series. We are back. I am so glad that you guys enjoyed the first part. Thank you guys for the support on it. And we are back. We're back with our with our crew. I was going to say crew and group and it would have just come out wrong. So uh, crew, we're back with them. They all look very sad and you might be able to tell that we have a different background. We are in a different part of the city. Also, side note, I think I fixed the um, no sims spawning. I think there was like some setting in the mod that I had that had it to where there was no more like walk-bys and no more um, other things like that. So I, I just got rid of those and I think I fixed it. So that should be fixed. Good. It's good because it was kind of really ruining the immersion because like there should have been zombies and stuff roaming around people like running around and stuff but there wasn't it was it ruined the immersion but regardless we fixed it so so the the ultimate goal is to get out of the city go onto the outskirts because hope has told them that that's where she lived with her father was on the outskirts so that is their plan but as you can see it is 5 p.m so they are just going to stay here they found this um kind of run down motel it looks kind of out of place in this city but can we just pretend that it doesn't look out of place thanks guys love you so yeah, there's a zombie i'm pretty sure yeah that's tamara's boss so yeah we found this little hotel mo it's a motel it's not a hotel and um the truck that was parked over here they have moved it over here to block the entrance and hopefully that keeps zombies away right now there's only one out here that we can see there's some there's a sim over here. Actually, I think they might be infected. There's also a child, which I'm pretty sure children can be bit as well. There's a zombie over here. Oh, that's a... Why does a zombie have a coffee? Can I ask? It, it literally is a coffee. This is actually Alicia's dad, which if she sees him, she might actually just break down crying. Um, so yeah, we are at this motel and... It's very run down, so it might have been, like, on the verge of being uh, torn down. I don't know. But, as you can also see, our needs are not doing the best. So, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have Alicia go to the bathroom and I'm going to have Hope come in here with her because I just feel like she really wouldn't let Hope out of her sight. So, or not Hope, Alicia out of her sight. So, okay, or she's going to let her out of her sight. But you can't get to that bathroom. Oh, because that's blocked off. Okay, well technically it wouldn't be blocked off right now. Baby's going to the bathroom and she really needs some social, which is Oh She's so sad. Here, come talk to your aunt. Come get come get to know your aunt. Okay, so Oh my god, he's freaking out because there is literally a zombie out there. Amber is starving, so we definitely want to, we definitely want to go search for some useful items. And Tamara is done using the bathroom so she can join in. As for these two, I think they really, she really just needs to talk with her aunt because she's feeling very, she's a, she's a child, right? So, uh, annoy. She's a child, so she's very, like, she's struggling with this. The other ones, obviously, are struggling with it, too. But because she's a child, okay, this is kind of loud. But because she's a child, like, she, she's struggling more because she doesn't know how to really wrap her head around this. So, yeah, I'm just going to have her talk to her aunt. Did you find any food? Okay, we do have this M, M oh, she dislikes jokes, no. You can open this go ahead and eat your mac and cheese and okay we found is this clean or dirty i don't know are you thirsty you don't have food we still need to search a swarm of bees okay we're being attacked by bees as if we don't have enough to worry about okay well listen it does suck. Being attacked by bees sucks, but we kind of have other things to worry about. So you don't have any food. You don't have any food, but we do need to look for some food. So 
Sorry, darling, but we have to search for some useful items because we need to find you food. Yeah, stings, doesn't it? From being stung by bees. Normal bee stings hurt, but bee stings from the jungle are beyond painful. What? She's also feeling icky. Something isn't right. This icky feeling could either go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote would be safest. What? Is that from the mod? Because I do remember seeing that there was... Oh my god. But I do remember seeing that there was some kind of bee... Mutated bees, I think is what they were called. Which is kind of scary, so... Okay, y'all are only finding mouth spray, which is just not useful at all. Here, give this to the child. I know it's just an apple, but it's better than nothing. I really don't know why everyone's social's so low. Like, I just see that someone... Okay, who found the... You did. You... Who's the hungriest right now? Hope's pretty hungry. And because, because the baby just, ha I keep calling her the baby, but because she just had an apple, she's not that hungry. So I'm going to give this to Hope. Go ahead and eat that. I don't really know what's going to happen to Tamara. I don't want her to die. So I'm a little worried, but I'm, I think I'm going to have Tamara come talk to Corey a bit because they both need social. And maybe I'll have Amber go talk to Hope a little bit. Small talk, get to know. So let's kind of see what's going on around us. As you can see, the stalls like are completely empty. This girl's sleeping somehow. Her name's Cerulean. That's cute. There's still some normal Sims. But... There's a lot of infected. Oh my, is this lady pregnant? Ooh. Oh, she found a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, let's give that to the, the, the kid. Give gift. Do you want a chocolate chip cookie? And then I think I'll give this to her brother. Because I think he's the only one left that hasn't eaten. Here you go. Have your cookie and then... Let's open this. Oh, open it? Thank you. Now you go ahead and eat. So, obviously the, like, power and stuff would definitely not be on. So, I'm not gonna have them, like, watch TV or anything. But she does need some fun, so maybe she can read this. I know she's already read it, but maybe she can read it anyway. Here, how about you talk to Amber? You need some more social. She also needs some social. See, this is so much more atmospheric because there's actually zombies roaming around out here. Which just makes so much more sense. Okay, they are... F oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Vlad just wants to watch the world burn. That's funny. Okay, but they are getting their social up, which is what they needed because their social was so low for some reason. It is 10 p.m., so I'm thinking we might... Oh my god. We might go ahead and put Alicia to bed. I guess they call this room. Hoping they can sleep in the same bed because they're not really that close, like, at all. But if they can't, then we'll figure something out. I'm assuming these two siblings, like... Alicia and her brother, not Alicia, um, Amber and her brother, they might be able to sleep in the same bed. And let's go ahead and wash up in the sink. Oh, you can use your shampoo. I know that there's a shower, but I feel like washing in the sink makes more sense than there being an actual, like, shower to be able to use. Okay, perfect. They can. And how are these two? She's not getting any fun from this. Okay. What about this? And how are you doing? He's literally just standing in here. Um, I know Hope has a mystery magazine. Why don't you read that? They really do need to get some sleep though because we're not gonna... What the what? Well, no, I wanted to read that. Oh, it's right here. Alone the words make sense, but together? What? This book is beyond my skill level. 
Okay. But yeah, they do need to get to sleep because we don't want to stay in the city forever. We actually really want to get out of the city. So I'm going to have him crawl over and sleep there and his sister can sleep here. There's also rooms upstairs, but I think they would all prefer to just kind of stay kind of close to each other. She's having the worst day ever, but I really don't blame her for that. Oh, Tamara was successfully able to overcome being poisoned and is feeling much better. Sick. Poison resisted from sturdy con constitution. Tamara was almost poisoned, but her body naturally resisted. The poison was flushed out. Thank goodness. Also, fear of unfulfilled dreams. It's a zombie apocalypse, baby. We really have other things to worry about. So yeah, it, it, it's... Oh, <laughs> she's hearing him scream. It's pretty quiet for now. Oh my god, Alicia has a loose tooth. What's happening? Oh, she's being attacked by bats. Can you imagine? Oh, she was bit. Did you hear her say, ow? Plasma bat attack. Being a plasma source for bats is not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, well. I'm just gonna have her wash up in the sink. Sooner or later, the pipes will all completely dry up. And then we will be completely screwed. Because we will all be stinky. Are you okay? What's wrong? Sore from chores? What chores? You haven't done anything. Here, play with your play with your duck. Notification while full. She found an upgrade part. That's really just not what we need. But it's not really what we need. Give the apple to the baby. I'm gonna keep calling her the baby. It's just easier to say. Especially when I don't remember her name right off the bat. I don't think there would be any backpacks here. Which we kind of need so we can hold more items, but I think there would definitely be some other type of clothes. So as much as she probably doesn't want to, I think Tamara should probably change out of her suit. I just think that she'd probably benefit from wearing something more comfortable. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Nature's revenge from eating harvested fruits or vegetables. Amber felt proud when she proudly plucked some produce and started munching away. Decimated and devoured, the vindictive vegetables made their final stand, waging war on her di di digestive tract. Hopefully Amber has managed to get her toilet working off the grid. Baby, you are going to poop your pants. But as for, as for Tamara, I think she's going to come in here and just kind of uh, try and find another outfit for herself to wear. And maybe the others, I don't really know though, because I think the others' clothes are fine. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so Tamara has found something to wear. It's definitely not her style. She just found like this top with like a little like shirt over it, some jeans and some shoes, but uh, these white shoes are going to get dirty so fast. But and she just kind of put her hair, she had her hair like back in like a bun, um, but she put it down and just has this scrunchie. Apparently she found a scrunchie. But yeah, this is just her new look. I didn't change the others just because I feel like their outfits are fine. But we need food. Like, we need so much food. And I feel like we never, we never find a lot. Which makes sense, I suppose. But I don't like it. Honestly, oh, she found another one. Okay. I was going to say, honestly, I think she would eat first before she gave it to the kid but um she did find another one so oh that's not what i meant to do oh can she not open it okay hold on your, your uh aunt will open it we are finding a lot of gas so if we ever get a car oh my. someone's yelling oh god is this woman like is she trying to get in here do you think I honestly think this woman was trying to get in with us. But like, I don't know if we really should let... What are you protesting? Like, hello? Oh, now she's running away. Ooh, maybe we should have let her in with us. I'm gonna have her come over here and... They can't- I don't think they can actually talk from- Who just failed their bladder? Okay.
Okay, that's not my problem right now. Okay, let's see if we can talk to her. Okay, yeah, so they're talking. She chose kind of an unfortunate spot, but they're talking, and I, f I really feel like she... She's probably like, let me in. Like, there's obvious complaint about her love life. Let's not do that. But she's like, there's zombies out here. Like, I need you to let me in or I will die. And, you know, Hope's like, I mean, we don't know you. We don't know, like, if you'll hurt us. Like, I have my niece in here. My niece is important. And I need to keep her safe. Oh my god, not them. Is that a zombie protesting? Because I'll have to... Oh my god. She said zombie rights. I just think that it would be too risky to let you in because we don't know who you are. We don't know if you'll attack us or kill us in the middle of the night. You know, like, hello? Like, we don't we don't know and we have to keep our people safe. So, I think um, Corey's going to come out here because he hears Hope talking to someone. And she's just kind of, kind of fill him in, like, on what this lady wants. And she's like, she, she, she wants to come in with us. And she, I, I'm telling her that I don't know if that's a good idea because we don't know who she is. She also has a fear of crowded places, Hope does. And I think, I think Corey has, oh, Corey has kind of taken over the leader role. And I think he's going to be like, you can't come in. Like, I'm sorry. I, I really hope that you'll be okay, but you can't come in. So I think that they're just kind of, kind of, they're just going to kind of walk away. Hope and, uh, Hope and Corey. And I feel like Hope's going to feel like, like really bad about this because she, she really wanted to help, but they really just cannot risk each other like they can't risk each other's lives so i think i'm gonna have tamara come in here and just kind of see what's going on and they're gonna fill her in as well so this girl has been out here for a little while now and she's just been screaming like she's obviously been attracting more zombies and unfortunately you know alicia's parents oh oh okay okay we need to come out here because we obviously are, can hear the screaming, like she's screaming and she is attracting so many zombies. So I think everyone's going to come out here and just kind of see what the hell's going on. So Alicia is going to see that that's her father out there. And now the girl that was trying to get in has unfortunately just died in front of them. And I feel like Hope especially is going to just feel so incredibly guilty because, you know, this is their fault. They, sh they couldn't, they didn't let her in and now she has been attacked. So I feel like she especially feels just so incredibly guilty and poor, Poor Alicia has definitely spotted her dad. She hasn't spotted her mom though yet because there is a fence right there, but so they are all just kind of watching this happen and you know, it it, it it's kind of really scary for them because surely if enough of them come over here, they can push this car or something. Alicia has finally spotted her mom and it's it's so sad like she she sees her mom and i think she's gonna she's just gonna run inside because you know she just has all these emotions now because like that's her mom i think cory might come in here and check on hope like just kind of see if she's okay because he knows at this point that that's her that's her sister and that is alicia's mom so i think amber might check on alicia just because I think her and um, Alicia have kind of gotten a little bit closer. Yeah, I think they're really close to being friends. And I think I'm just going to have... Oh, that was two chairs inside of each other. Okay, I'm just going to have her sit down. And I think she's going to try and distract herself with a, the magazine. So they are just kind of going to stay... Not the pee puddle. They're just going to kind of stay in here and 
Just try and stay out of the line of sight of the zombies. So everyone is inside sleeping and they they all hear the sound of metal scraping and the sound of the zombies getting closer and they are going to come outside and check and unfortunately they are going to find a bunch well okay we're gonna have to use our imagination there's not a bunch but a handful tamara is not like she's not a violent person she is not the snatch weave i'm gonna have her just snap mash her head with a bottle because you know they don't really know what to do honestly like they are like panicking at this point right like they just i think that uh tamara has just kind of shouted shouted why did i say it like that shouted like we need to go we need to leave and they weren't really planning to leave until tomorrow but they have no choice this place is going to become overrun so they they're kind of panicking they're like i don't know what to do so i think that they are just gonna i think they're just gonna run and hope that no one gets left behind because it's a panic right now and you know especially like the baby like we're hoping she doesn't get left behind right like so Corey is obviously trying to get his sister like come on like we have to go like and I feel like Amber is very hesitant because you know they were in here and it was safe oh look at Hope she sees her sister but like you know they were in there and it was safe and now they're having to leave and Amber is obviously like she doesn't want to like she doesn't want to because I mean are they gonna find another safe spot they don't know like they know that they're going they know that they're going to hopefully uh Hope's house but like they don't know if that place is overrun they don't know anything so they're all like really I'm trying to get her to run but so they're all really scared, but, like, they know that they have to go. Like, they actually just, like, have to go. Because if they don't, they're all going to get bit. Like, that's just the that's just the truth to that. They obviously planned to leave it eventually, but on their own terms. And now that they were all just woken up out of their sleep by these zombies, two of which were Hope's sister and brother-in-law and Alicia's parents, like... Obviously, she saw them as zombies already, but now it's like she's seen them again, and they're full zombies. Like, maybe before they weren't completely turned, I don't know, but now they're full zombies, and they are actively trying to kill her and her aunt and the people that they've been with. And so I think that that's going to be tough for her to wrap her mind around, because, like, how do you wrap your mind around the fact that your mom's a zombie and she's trying to kill you? Like... That is, that's tough for anyone, but, like, for a kid, they're now, like, we need to make it out of the city. Like, we need to get the hell out of the city. There's also Jade just over here sleeping. Like, bitch, you need to get up and run. For all we know, like, there could be a whole bunch more zombies, like, just around the corner, right? Like, we don't know. And, again, you know, Hope is trying not to focus on the fact that her dad might not have made it back home at all. And... Like, what if they are walking to her house and they come across, like, his car and he's, like, not far from it and he's gone? Like, she's trying not to think about that because she just, she, she's already lost her sister and obviously her brother-in-law, but she wasn't really, she didn't really know him that well. Um, but she lost her sister and she still, I don't think, has come to terms with that, so for her to also possibly lose her father like I, I really don't think that she's come to terms with like she she just isn't thinking about that like she's really trying not to she's trying to focus on Alicia and getting Alicia to safety so, so after running what felt like literal years they have finally made it out of the city they've been running for so long and all of them are exhausted obviously they didn't even get a full night's sleep right like they they are t so exhausted and they all have to go to the bathroom and they all need showers and they've been running and running and 
they have come across they need a break like they all realize that they need a break so they have come across this house that looks like it's already been boarded up a bit and they are like we need we need to rest like at least for tonight i think we're just gonna kind of get these um boards down which might be a bad idea but we need to go in so we're all gonna come in and probably push like this up against the door or something i don't know but we all need to come in and just kind of first of all we really need to check the not nancy land grab running by but we all need to check the place out so i'm gonna end this part right here and in the next part we are going to check the place make sure it's safe and we are going to recoup just kind of gather all of our thoughts and then i don't know how long we'll stay here probably a day or so because obviously hope wants to get to her house to see if her father's okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy part um i had a lot of fun and i hope you guys are looking forward to the next one and i'll see you guys then bye guys